Hi there, Tim Bauer here from LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com with a practice tip of the day. This one is for the beginning player, and today this one is for the very beginning player. If you, if you can make a couple of chords without you know much problem, if you can play your G chord, your D chord, you don't need this video. This is for the, the, the this is what I would do at, at the very first in-person lesson with somebody. Um, a lot of people have trouble with this. We're going to talk about the, the proper way to hold your guitar so that you can play these chords. So we're going to start with a G chord. That's the most common chord. And we're not even going to worry about doing the whole thing. Uh, we, we, we have to do one thing and then work everything else around that. And the one thing we have to do, we're going to start with this note right here, because that's the root note for the chord. We want to make sure that this first knuckle is going straight into the guitar neck. And the way you get it to do that, I'm going to try to position myself so you can see that. You have to... Um, you have to position your hand, bend your wrist, drop your shoulder, bend your elbow, roll your hand, make sure your thumb's down around the, the back of the neck like, like that in the middle. Um, even though when you see people play and they, they're you know advanced players, or not advanced, but after people learn how to play, they throw the thumbs over the top to do other things with them and they just kind of hold or hang their hand there. But you can't do that when you're first playing. It'll totally mess you up and you won't be able to, to play these chords right. And uh, this is the first, uh, during a first lesson with somebody, it's often most of the lesson just trying to get somebody to hold their hand right. So, so uh, uh, we're going to work with just, just that finger for, the, for, for a second, uh, for a minute or two. All right, so make sure you get it on like that. Okay, so a couple of things that I ended up talking about during the live lessons, um, it, it, when I'm in somebody's home. Um, you, just, just like you can bend your finger, you can use your thumb to manipulate how, how hard that angle is. You can use your guitar to do the same thing. So don't notice how that's that's a 90 degree angle. You don't have to hurt your knuckle or anything. But that first knuckle, the one on my fingernail line, is bent 90 degrees. I can use my guitar and manipulate the angle of that knuckle too, just like that. So make sure your thumb's right behind that finger, and whatever you have to do, get that on there where it's perpendicular to the neck. It's going straight into the neck. Um, perpendicular, uh, you know, a, a flagpole is perpendicular to the ground. That's that's what we're trying to do. And don't even bother with trying to put the rest of the chord in there until you get that in there right. So, and, and I know it, it looks very simple when you see somebody who's been playing guitar a long time do that. They put their finger up there and it goes right where it goes. But most of the time people are like that, and they're over here like that, and like that, and they're holding their hands all funny. So I want to go over some of the things that, that make you hold your hands funny. All right, so the number one thing that people, well, not the number one, but one of the things that people want to do, um, they, they, um, they, they kind of fight. Um, they feel like they need to squeeze the strings really hard, and you do have to squeeze them hard enough to make them make a note. But you don't have to squeeze them like like you're trying to, you know, uh, turn crush, you know, coal in your hands and turn it into diamonds. You don't need that much pressure. But the people tend to hold their guitars like this, with their wrist bent the wrong way, because you have a really good grip on it. And you're this, you're strongest this way. If you're trying to like squeeze a tennis ball or something, you're you're strong that way. You're not nearly as strong this way like you have to have when you're playing guitar as you are when you're squeezing your fist. So that's why everybody wants to hold their guitar neck like this. The guitars, their hand, the palm of their hands often up into the, if, if the palm of your hand is touching the bottom of your guitar, you're not doing it right. That's going to mess up your finger and you're going to, um, you know, just squeeze it wrong and be at all funny angles. And you have to, like I said, no matter what you have to do, just fight and rotate stuff around. You can, you can manipulate your finger this way, that way, this way, that way, up, down. Uh, you know, just and if, a lot of it you can do just by the height of your thumb. If if your knuckles bent over too far that way, right? The way I fix that, I, I can drop my shoulder, and basically I'm just kind of rolling my whole hand around. So I can drop my shoulder, let my thumb slide around the back, and eventually, if I go far enough, then that that angle gets fixed. If I'm up here like this, and my thumb kind of toward the top of the neck, see how it affects the angle there. Like I said, the number one thing out of this lesson, this, this video, is to learn how to do it. Once you can get that knuckle down the right way, then, you know, the rest of the chord will kind of fill itself in. But you have to do that with each finger. So, um, let's see. So, make sure your thumb's not over the top. Make sure you're not putting your thumb in like that. The, the proper way to do your thumb is like you're putting a thumbprint right in the middle of the back of the guitar. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle, but you don't, you don't want it like that. You don't want it up, up underneath like that. You don't want the palm of your hand touching. Um, you want you want you want everything hanging down really low. Um, your wrist needs to be bent. That's an obtuse angle, if that's the right word. I'm trying to remember back from geometry. That's about 135 degrees. Um, so that let's see where you see that. That's 90 degrees, right? Sorry about the geometry. That's 180 degrees. I'm trying to get that where you see it. So straight lines 180 degrees. 
right angle is at 90 degrees, you were right in between. And right in between, I think, is 135 degrees. So just not, not 90, not straight, and certainly not backward. Because a lot of people want to put their, their um, bend it backward. All right, so when you, do, when you get that finger down, you know, and, and we're just working with the one chord. Um, with the G chord, um, if you're learning it with three fingers, don't worry too much about that one. We're just going to we're going to let that one be a, a, a skip. So, but and the reason is because it, it's not nearly as important as that one. And a lot of times when when experienced players are playing, they won't tell you this, but you know if they're playing their G chord, sounds fine, right? I'm actually muting that fifth string a little bit. My my fingers leaning on it. And when you're first learning how to play, it, it's um, you, you can kind of skip that. Don't worry too much about it. Get that finger on there, right? And then get this third finger. Do the exact same exercise with the third finger. Put it on there. And the reason we're using the third finger is because that's the one that belongs to the chord. So put your third finger on there. Hopefully I'm holding this at the right angle so you can see it. Uh, there we go. And manipulate whatever you have to do with your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist, your thumb, whatever you have to do to get that first knuckle going straight into the guitar neck and don't even proceed with anything until you can get those two things down um, and, and you know make sure and, and once you get the, the strings down there you know go ahead you know do that one and go ahead and push on hard enough to make the note so you have to make sure it's not buzzing and also keep it toward the front of the fret because it's much easier to push down in the top part of the fret toward the body of the guitar than it is back here you have to push it harder back here so anyway, so that's the idea, and just do that with whatever the first chord is of whatever song you're working on, do that. And um, with most other chords, you have, need to do all the fingers. We're just gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna call that fifth string a, a, a skip on the on the G chord. But your other chord, like your, if your first chord is a D, you know, do them all the fingers. Get get that knuckle bent right. And once you get that done, that's the hardest part of getting started with guitar. Once you get the individual knuckles bent the proper way, then start putting them down in combination. So get that for my G chord, get that one the way it's supposed to be. Get that one the way it's supposed to be. And then I can just kind of stick that one on there. And that one's going to probably end up being about the way it's supposed to be anyway. So. And then once you, once you get the proper form, that, like I said, that's the hardest part. At first, people hold on to their guitar is wrong. Just remember, relax everything. Let everything hang. Make sure your wrist is hanging bent downward a little bit. Make sure your thumb's in the right place. And just do whatever you have to do to force that first knuckle to bend right. So I know I went a little long with that, but it, it's so important because I, I see people get so frustrated. And honestly, most of the time um, when I have a first lesson with somebody, I, I can sit right in front of them and, and tell them what to do like I'm doing in this video, and they still can't do it. I usually, I mean, almost always have to get up and physically put their fingers and help them bend their knuckles and their, you know, their wrists and, and put their elbow, not their elbow so much, but, you know, to force that knuckle in, into the right position. And you're at a disadvantage because you're on a video here and I can't see you, but ho hopefully if you just kind of just know how important that is and, and, and just, if you can get that done, the rest of it will fall in place a lot easier. So um, if you have any questions on that, you know, uh, look me up, www.livevideoguitarlessons.com. Maybe we can schedule, I do Skype lessons over there. So maybe we can schedule a lesson if you're really fighting with it. You know, um, we'll, we'll take a look at a, a take a scheduling a lesson. And at least I can see you and help you, you know, you know, tell you that your knuckle needs to be bent another 10 degrees and, you know, lean in this way or bend your wrist a little more or something like that. So anyway, all right, well, hopefully that helps. Uh, thanks for tuning in for this practice tip. Tune in again tomorrow for another one, and I will see you next time. Thanks.